In this example, we're given f of x equals 2x plus 1 over 3x minus 2, and we have to find the derivative f of prime x. Now, this type of function we haven't really dealt with other than when we dealt with the definition of a derivative. We found the derivative of a function that was similar to this, but other than the definition of a derivative, is there a quicker way to find the derivative of a function like this? Well, if we take this function, notice how this expression in the denominator is like to the power of 1. So perhaps we can maybe bring that whole expression up to the numerator. So we can rewrite this function as 2x plus 1. Let's keep that in brackets, so the numerator expression. And then because we're bringing this expression over to the numerator, we have to change that 1 to a negative 1. Because any time you see a negative exponent for an expression, that always means that we bring the expression down to the denominator. But now we did the opposite. We took an expression from the denominator and brought it up to the numerator. So we had to change that exponent to negative 1. And now notice how this function is the product of two separate functions here. So this 2x plus 1 we can label as g of x. And then this 3x minus 2 to the power of negative 1, we can label as h of x. So because this f of x is composed of two functions multiplied by each other, to find its derivative, we can just apply the product rule. So the product rule, we would take the derivative of that first function, so the derivative of 2x minus 1 is just 2. That second function, 3x minus 2, to the power of negative 1, we just rewrite as it is in the original function, plus that first function, g of x, we rewrite it as it is, 2x plus 1. And now, to find the derivative of this second function, we're going to have to apply the power of a function rule, because notice how it's a function to the power of a number. So if you didn't go over the power of a function overview video, I would pause this video, go to the curriculum, make sure you go over that so you're comfortable with finding the derivative of this type of function where we have a function to the power of a real number. So applying the power of a function rule on this h of x here, we would bring the negative 1 down, so it would be 3x minus 2, we leave that function in the bracket as it is. We subtract 1 from the exponent, so negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. And then we find the derivative of that inner function. So 3x minus 2, the derivative of that is 3. So this whole expression here represents the derivative of this function. However, let's try to simplify it more. Let's try to make it look a little nicer. So to simplify it, what you want to do is you want to take any expressions with a negative exponent and now bring it back down to the denominator. So here we took any expressions in the denominator, brought them up to the numerator. Once we get to the derivative, you want to take any expressions with a negative exponent and bring it down to the denominator. So here, this expression, this 3x minus 2 to the power of negative 1, we brought down to the denominator. The 2 stayed in the numerator. And then notice here how this positive changed to a negative because we have this negative here. Negative times positive is a negative. And then the 3 bracket, 2x plus 1, that stays in the numerator, but the 3x minus 2 to the power of negative 2 we bring down to the denominator and becomes 3x minus 2 to the power of 2. So now notice how we are taking two fractions and subtracting them. But we can't subtract them at this point because we don't have a common denominator. This is 3x minus 2 to the power of 2, and then this is just 3x minus 2 to the power of 1. So to get a common denominator, what we would do is we'd have to take this expression and multiply it by 3x minus 2. Because this 3x minus 2, to the, there's like a power of 1 here, times 3x minus 2 to the power of 1, we're multiplying exponents with the same base, we would just add the exponents and we would end up with 3x minus 2 to the power of 2 and we'd have that same common denominator. Now, because we multiplied this denominator by 3x minus 2, what we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top as well. So we would multiply that 2 by 3x minus 2 as well.
And then simplifying the numerator, we would distribute that two inside the bracket. So we'd have six X minus four and then distributing that negative three inside this bracket, we'd have negative six X minus three. The six X's will cancel out and we'll be left with negative four minus three in the numerator and that would give us negative seven. And it's still all over that common denominator of three X minus two to the power of two. So this here represents the derivative of this function here. That is our final answer. So one more time, what we did was we took any expression in the denominator brought it up to the numerator and then we had a function as the product of two functions. So then we applied the product rule and then when we got to finding the derivative of this function here we had to apply the power of a function rule. And then doing a little simplification we end up with that final derivative of negative 7 over 3x minus 2 squared. Now to find the derivative of this type of function, we're going to go over a rule in future videos called the quotient rule, which is actually going to make the algebra a lot easier for us to get to this term here. But for now, we don't know that yet. Any function that you get in this kind of format, you have to bring that term in the denominator up make a negative exponent and then use the product rule. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.